tax are something that some of you don't use that much, but it might help you organize things better than just using a simple folders, especially if you work on many projects at once. Hi everyone, I'm Luke from Apple Online Academy, channel dedicated to help you mastering your Apple devices. And as I mentioned in the previous video, you can see the tags here in the find the sidebar. Now I want to show you how tags works on real examples, then you can get the hands on it pretty fast. I have here a few sample files, and instead of putting these files in individual folders, I will sort them out by assigning tags to them. Let's say these three files will be part of project A. So I'm going to assign a tag to them by pressing this little button on the top and it will give me a choice of tags. So I can select one of the predefined or I can type a name here and create a new tag straight away. So let's create a new tag called project A and give it a blue color. Now you can see they have a blue dot next to them. Another three I will assign to green tag. Great, now I've got this last file here, which is part of both projects, so I can mark it by both tags, so it will be accessible on both projects. What if I just take these files now and put them in the pile of other files, somewhere in the folder? Imagine if there are hundreds of them instead of just seven. Anyway, I don't need to worry about it, because I can actually look for tags in the finder sidebar here. And once I click on the blue project 8, it will show me only these blue files and the one which is tagged for both blue and green. I can do the same for the other ones. Click on green and the only ones tagged green, including the one which is tagged for both, will appear now. But I don't want these to be called green. I could have created a tag in the beginning, but I wasn't sure what name I want to put there. Now I have decided it will be project B, so it's super easy to rename it. Right click or control click the tag you want to rename and select rename. Now I will type a new name and it's done. But what if you don't like the color? And what about these other predefined tags? I want to get rid of them if I don't use them. You can customize it all from the finder preferences. So click up here on finder and select preferences. If you switch to second tab you will have the whole section here dedicated to tags. Here you can easily add or remove text by clicking the plus and minus button. Or you just untick it here and hide it once you are not currently using it. And to change the color, simply hover over the dot and a small arrow will appear. If you click on it you can choose a new color. Lots of different ways to add and remove tags that can help you organize things. So tags are very versatile and can be very useful. But there is one more advantage of using tags. You can actually search using them. If I type project A in the search here, it will come up and say tags. Once I click on project A it will list them all in here. And now I can even save the search and create a smart folder to have them all in one virtual place. You can find more about smart folders in one of my previous video. And in the next one we will talk about… well, if you want to know, then make sure to subscribe and you will not miss any future tips. So see you there.